Hi everyone, Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about, um, I've got a question a few days ago actually, and I've got a question from one of my students, how to fix the skin colors, how to fix the skin tones if the skin tones are too yellow or too red or a bit too orangey. So I was looking for the image, um, on which image I could have this kind of issue. This is not my image. I just uh, found this on one of the stock website and I found, all right, these skin tones maybe are suitable, but the problem is um, we have not really nice the skin colors. As you can see, we have um, two yellowish parts over here, which looks a bit of the, like the mar margarine or a butter, um, the kind of color. So of course, some of the people maybe could like this, but uh, that's not my style. And also I believe many of people uh, doesn't have this style. So in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to take down some of the colors, how to make this a bit more natural and how to bring the colors where we want to. Because I noticed it's a common problem. I'm talking about this in few other tutorials, but it was usually connected to other subjects. And I never made a really tutorial on just this specific subject. So in this tutorial, I just want to do this. Uh, first, before we start, you can always have a look how to measure and the uh, colors, uh, how to measure uh, the colors on the image. So I'm going to hit Windows and we're going to find the panel, which is info. So as you can see, when we go in around the image, we have info about our image. And we can go into the area that we see the tones and I want to take down this yellowish tones which is over here and when you look on the CMYK you have all of the information and we have quite much yellow color and quite much magenta and the same happening over here so I'm going to knock it down this is uh, quite useful when we want to adjust the skin colors to the other parts of course we don't have other parts so it's um not the point at the moment but we know there's quite much yellow color and the best tool for me how i'm doing this i basically use few different options um, of course it could be done very easily by saturation of course just to take down some of the saturation and the problem is resolved however i think um the best tool for it uh, the best tool that works for me is actually selective color so I'm going to choose selective color and let's analyze the colors that we have over here pretty much and that will be just a few colors and especially two um, these colors are quite orangey so we're going to work mostly with yellow sometimes maybe reds magentas not that much and sometimes I usually work with neutrals and white so I'm going to hit yellows because there's quite much and from yellow parts I'm just going to take down some of the yellow color. Also, I can take down some of the magenta or bring magenta if I want. I'm just going to take down just a little bit. The same what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let's see how the cyan works before. So I'm going to bring up some of the cyan. We can see how yellows, um, I'm sorry, reds, how, how the reds work. And it affects in the similar way, actually. It affects in the similar way. So also I'm going to take this down a little bit and the skin tones actually getting quite white at the moment. And if you want, don't want to mess up just on one layer, I actually recommend you to open a few selective color layers. I'm going to try with neutrals at the moment. And from neutrals, as you can see, we actually taking down the color from everything. So that would be the difference and the main difference. Um, but it sometimes it can give you a really nice result. And I like to work with neutrals and also with whites, because sometimes in the white areas we can have some of the yellow color. However, with this we have to be careful. In this case, I'm not going to work with this. So I just made a few very simple steps. So I'm going to put these two selective color adjustment layers to the group, Control command g and you can see the result before and after. Of course, we change the main tones and maybe sometimes we don't want to affect the bigger areas. So I'm going to have a look before, after. 
okay, and before, after. So basically on the area where I was working with neutrals, I want to apply this only to the face. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert this layer mask by pressing Control Command and I, of course not this, once again, Control Command I, and I've inverted this. So now I'm going to choose white color of the brush. Of course, brush has to be chosen. I'm going to bring up the flow and I'm going to paint on the face because I want to take down these yellowish colors from the face but I don't want to affect the hair actually. I'm not going to paint on the hand because hand doesn't have such a strong colors so just the face but I don't want to affect the hair I don't want to affect the hand so you can have a look it's quite simple, simple thing, but uh, I'm just I just taken down this not really pleasant colors. Just uh, for me, it wasn't really pleasant. A bit down. Of course, we can manipulate this, except the fact we can manipulate this by adjusting these layer masks by working with layers and layer mask. We can adjust the opacity. It's a bit not too strong, so that's the result. Of course, I affected the hair, but also I, I thought. I just want to change the hair color a little bit. I could uh, change this. If I don't want this, I'm just going to change the color into the black one. And on this white layer mask, I could paint with the black color. And as you can see, I'm actually bringing the natural hair color. So we're not affecting the thing we don't want. And we're choosing the areas we want to affect. We're choosing the areas we want to fix. We're choosing the areas we want to work with. So there's many possibilities. And that was a very quick tutorial, but that's the exactly the one strategy, the, my, my tip, my advice, and the method I mostly use if I want to fix the skin colors. So thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Don't forget to check my premium courses. Don't forget to check especially the one, my premium advanced retouching course. Uh, link is in the description. It's on Udemy, of course, you're getting great offer. So check this out, over seven hours of pure retouching course. So just check this out and I'm going to see you very soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.